Alright guys, we're back and we're ready to do our fifth segment of Billy's uh Billy Moody's uh, graduation special. So far I've won $236,100. And I'm now gonna play Jeopardy for the Wii U now. This is Jeopardy! And the same thing applies for this game. Um if I win, I'm going to give him a $25,000 bonus, a $15,000 bonus for second, and third is a $10,000 bonus. Say that again. Oh, where do you get that from? Say that again. I do. It's about a couple miles away. You know what? I'm going to consider doing that, too. That's nice. TV slightly so I can hear you, Gary. Okay, can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, so you said that I can get that um, clipboard or what is it called? It's, uh... Oh, okay. I might go ahead and get that. Yeah, I cut, down, I cut down the TV so I can hear you. And now, okay, that's nice. Jeopardy, Alex Rivet. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Is that like a trophy or something? Welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth two hundred to one thousand dollars in these categories. State capitals. State capitals is the first category. Our founding fathers. Our founding fathers. Inventors. Inter inventors and inventions. Debriefing. Debriefing. Grammy, Grammy winners. winners and, and all, about all about authors. Okay, good category. Okay, back into this player one. I'm gonna start with state capitals for two hundred. The old barracks in this New Jersey capital housed Continental Army troops during the Revolution. Let's try it. Yes, player one. Uh, what is, uh, uh Trenton? Well, that was correct. State well, capitals for foreign. The site for this capital was chosen because of its location between Pensacola and St. Augustine. Now, I'm terrible at geography, guys, so forgive me. Here's the correct response. Tallahassee. Oh, Tallahassee, okay. Layer 600. One. At an elevation of about 7,000 feet, this city in New Mexico's Sangre de Cristo Mountains is the highest state capital. I'm going for it. Let's hear it, Layer 1. We're Santa Fe. Yeah! Layer 1. Yeah. When Kansas became a state in 1861, this city became capital. I'm going. Layer one. Where's Topeka? Good. Select again. Two state capitals with city in their names lie west of the Rocky Mountains. Salt Lake City and this one. Oh, okay. Okay, layer one. Uh. I'm gonna go with what is Carson City. Yeah. 
Okay, I did okay. Four of them right. Please pick again. Let's go with uh, Inventors and Inventions for 200. Walter Deemer with the Fleer Company invented the first commercially successful type of this chewing gum in 1928. Okay, player one. What is bubble gum? Yeah. Player one. Going with 400. In 1979, James A. Ritty invented this machine, and retailers have been ringing up sales ever since. What's the one. cash register? That's correct. Going with uh, 600. Again, player one. In 1798, this cotton gin inventor began using a system of interchangeable parts to make muskets for the U.S. government. Who is Eli Whitney? Let's hear it, player one. Yes. That's it. yes, he did. That's what the clue was, exactly. Player one. Damn. In 1938, chemist Roy Plunkett invented polytetrafluoroethylene, a non-stick substance better known as this. With Teflon. It's player one. Yes. Let's finish the clue. Off. Player one. Martha Coston invented the Coston list, a device for signaling at sea. In the 1850s. Okay, player two. Yeah. With the flare, I did not know that one. Player two, where do we start? It's a device for the Kelly's and The southwest wall of the Thomas Jefferson Memorial displays an excerpt from this document, of which Jefferson was the primary author. It's player one. What is the Declaration of Independence? Whoa! The Founding Fathers right, of Florida. At age 15, he was a bell ringer at the Old North Church. 25 years later, he told the church sexton to light two lanterns. I'm going to try it. Yes, player one. Who is Paul Revere? You got it. Please. He served jointly with William Hunter as Postmaster General of the Colonies from 1753 to 1761. Here's what we wanted. Benjamin Franklin. Now it's Benjamin Franklin. Okay, I should have known that. You get to pick again. On April 24, 1778, this naval hero captured the Drake. The first British ship defeated in war by an American ship. Okay, player two. Oh. She won with David Farragut and his mom. Well. I'll go for a guess. It's player one. Who is uh, John Paul Jones? Yeah, that's right. Way to go. Player one. A thousand. Before he was on the ten dollar. Oh, I know this one. His first Treasury Secretary was one of the thirty-nine signers of the Constitution. Who is yes, Alexander player. Hamilton? Right. I have a huge lead right now, Gary. Player one, you pick. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go with debriefing for two hundred. The of salutation that traditionally begins each entry of a girl's daily journal. What is dear diary? Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> Going for 400. Player one. To slobber or to bounce a basketball. What is dribbling or dribble? Player one. <laughs> Player one. Six hundred. Humorous poetry with irregular rhythm is known by this canine name. I'll try it. Player one. What is a dog reel? Got it. You again. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. A Londoner. It's a trash can. Let's try it. Okay, player one. What is a dumpster? Oh. No, it's not a dumpster. Any other taker? I lost on that one. Let's hear it, player three. Oh. 
the dustbin. Anyone else? Yes, player two. That's correct. All right, let's get back into this. Player two has control. An alcoholic may suffer from this, from the Greek for mad thirst. Here's the correct response. Dipsomania. Oh, with dipsomania, okay. Player two, you pick again, please. All by author's security. In the early 1920s, she scandalized Atlanta society by doing a provocative dance at a debutante ball. Here is what we wanted. Margaret Mitchell. With Margaret Mitchell, okay. Player two, choose again. Mark Twain said, I came in with this in 1835. It is coming again next year, 1910. And I expect to go out with it. He did. Yeah, I'm not good with books. Here's what we were looking for. Halley's Comet. Oh, I should have known that. Yeah, Halley's Comet. Yeah. Please pick again, player two. 1978, just the way you are. Yeah, I should know this because I had okay, clues already. Right. Who is Billy Joe? Yeah, he's correct. Player one. Grand West 1966, Strangers in the Night. Who is Frank Sinatra? Here's player one. Wow. Yes. You get to pick again. 1992. Tears in heaven. Okay, let's try it. Let's hear it, player one. Who is Eric Clapton? That's right, way to go. You again. Eric. 2010, need you now. I'm gonna try it. Let's hear it, player one. Who is Lady Gaga, I think it is. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not either. Anyone else? Well, what's wrong with that one? Yes, player two. That's correct. Player two, you start. The Grady, um... 1973. Grady Gaga, I think, is overrated. Right. It's player one. Who is Roberta Flack? Yeah. That's right, way to go. Player one. All about authors of 600. I got the Daily Double. <laughs> Answer, it's the Daily Double. You are in first place. Let's go with $1,200. And blue. He wrote his last short story, The Betrothed, shortly before his play, The Cherry Orchard. Who is Leo Tolstoy? You are still in first place. That's okay. Here's what we wanted. Anton Chekhov. I think I can finish this round before the 15 minutes is up. 800. This novelist who wrote about gorillas in Congo passed away in 2008. We're talking about Michael Crichton. And here's the thousand dollar clue. His father disapproved of his poetry writing. So Chile's Natalia Ricardo Reyes Basualto adopted this pen name. Okay, player two. <laughs> All right, guys, we finished the Jeopardy round. I believe with $7,600. Player 2 has 2,800 and player 3 has minus 800. And we'll take a break and I'll be placing double jeopardy right after this. Stay tuned.